Alright, I'm coming to help you, buddy. I know you're dead already, but I'm coming to help anyway. Hello! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Steps Basic, and welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. So, we finished off chapter one, and we are resuming the game three years ago. I wonder what happened three years ago. That's very intriguing. I've been really loving this game. Oh, so good. All the elements to it just work together so perfectly. And Alan and, and Alice, they're both so freaking awesome. That face he makes, though. Well, Alan's kind of a butt, but I think he's gonna. Hello. Ooh, why are we looking through? I see you. Worst weather I've ever seen. What are we living in Washington? That's a great idea, honey. I love you. Oh, it's like I know Rider's Block can be a bore, a bear, a butt. Having gone through it so much myself, especially right now. Click. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm going to finish this by tomorrow. I believe in you, honey. Excuse me, phone? What are you booping at? Ah, so that's a view. What's this? Ah, oh, it's a TV. Huh. Thought I saw a face in that. <laughs> a little bit of pareidolia. Nope, not going out there. All right, so let's just go see Alice. She is a brilliant photographer. Look at her camera work. Hey, Alice, hey, honey. I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell cool. me what you think. Will do. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? <laughs> well, you seemed to think so last night. <laughs> oh, he's <just>, oh, <laughs> oh. making like a little flirty noises at me. Excuse me, chair. Oh, excuse me. All right, where's my desk? Is it in here? Oh. Why is this door locked? It's our house, honey. Oh, well. Where's my office? Is it this way? Oh, it's the door between our offices. Huh. Oh. Hello, bathroom. Medicine. Is that my medicine? I'll examine the mock-ups in just a sec. I have to explore the rest of the house. Because I found a... What do you call it? A nice bed. Nice room in general. Jeez. The continuing freezing rain and heavy snowfall have necessitated a winter storm warning in the entire tri-state area. Marvelous. People are advised to stay indoors as many roadways are already closed. And city officials are not expecting snow crews to keep up with the weather. We're oh. now on the third day of the blizzard. The weather's not expected to clear up anytime soon. Blah. Oh, well. <sighs> Anything in our closet? Jesus. Nothing in our closet. I was expecting clothes or shoes or something, but nothing. Wow. Wow. That is a slow coffee pot. I turned that on hours ago. Anyway, I need to stop wasting time. Let's go check out these mock-ups. That's an interesting uh, thing. <laughs> Another QR code. I don't have anything to read QR codes for. Oh. The fall of Casey. The things that I want, Alex Casey. What I can't forget. Return to sender. Interesting. Oh, I can't wait to have a book of my own. My name on it and everything. These look really good. The oh, sudden sure, stop. Until Barry gets his hands on them. Ugh. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. Yeah. The last... So, all right, one sec. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lay in here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. Uh -huh. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. Ugh. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Alan awake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Interesting. So... You're a mystery writer. Kind of noir feel to it. It's interesting, though. I guess he's going to kill off his main character. That's interesting. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city becoming one with it I can see them now my wife and my baby honey I'm home 
Ugh. That's kind of grim. Time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> oh no, honey. Alan! I'm coming, I'm coming, Alan! I'm coming. I'm coming. Please check the fuse box. Okay. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just get the lights back on now, please. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Can I focus it on her? Hi. Hi. Okay. I'm sorry. I just. Nyctophobia. Just really spooked me. I understand. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. Fear of the dark is not a good thing. I know it's stupid, but it's just. Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. Any phobia is like that, really. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? The clicker. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Mm. Oh, sure. <laughs> there it is. Magic light. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. Headbutt. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. I need one of those where I'm at right now. Think they're using tongues? Oh gosh. Ah, I feel like I'm an intruder on this scene. I shouldn't be here. Especially with my little beanie on. It makes me look like even more of an intruder. The present day. It's Christmas. Hmm. Get it? Present? Feel, Mr. Present Wake? day? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? Yes, sir. Okay, flashback time. Oh. I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd say <laughs> he'd ask me for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Yeah, we need to make sure she's okay first. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. That's a terrible nice. idea. I need to make sure Alice is okay first. Well, then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any uh, other symptoms, <coughs> you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you. Did She's we interrupt? Very good at her job. I believe I'm it. Sure, she can locate your wife in no time. I'm sure, she can. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the <laughs> station to take a look at the cut in my head. That's kind of funny. We interrupted him during I'm his sorry fishing. I'm to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that, coming from an old <laughs> fisherman like me. But she's uh. right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Yeah, I've heard. Are you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? A little bit. Oh, it's been a while, matter, though. I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. Mm -hmm. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll You're take your word too for right, it, Doc. Doc. Too right, Doc. Oh, anyway, um, <laughs> you ever, yeah, you, you know the secret to how to, how to talk about a, uh, uh, a, um, how to how to believe a a a, a, a fish story, is uh, when they say the fish was this big. You look at the distance between the thumb and the finger. <laughs> Bright Falls. Oh, there's Cauldron Lake. That's where we were at. Wash. Huh. Okay. All right. Interesting. Man, there's like a whole freaking. Good to go, Mr. Wake. Sarah's probably waiting for a chance to talk to you. Thanks, Doc. Wonder if he's going to get taken. Oh, God, I hope not. I like him. Ooh. Hey, it's her again. Um. Testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Brandt. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. I like Miss Weaver. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. Thanks, Miss Weaver. Good luck Mr. out there. Jake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Thank you. I'll be right there. Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. Uh -huh. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, uh -huh. but she's focused on um, oh, other things these days. Light bulbs. She'd fit right in where I come from. 
As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, <laughs> refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? I know, right? Small towns and their mysteries. Cell area. Not allowed in there. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Interesting. I don't remember that. Why are you blinking at me? Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's uh -huh. here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, boy. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, yep. roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Jane's out. It was Stucky. Stucky trashed it. Oh. Missing. Richard Baugh, Bruce Dansky, Jacob Miller. On a camping trip. Overdue. Haven't been in contact. If you see them or know their whereabouts, call 555-9932. I don't know if I'm going to need that, but I'm going to write it down just in case. I don't know if I can uh, actually use any phones in this game, so, you know. Ah, wrong button. Ah. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's oh. charged now. Thanks. Yoink. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. Mm. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? Yes. How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted Through the to forest. tell what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Wait, I thought Excuse it was dead. Me. I need to take this. I thought it was dead. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who are you? Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. Who's we? Who's we watching? Knack for winning contests. Uh, don't know your name. Oh, somebody's missing a kitty. Oh. All right. Mr. Wake, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. Thanks. I thought he quit drinking for good. <laughs> oh, no such luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. Hey, he started shouting like hey, that the moment he woke up. I need more light in here. God. Hey, hey, mister. Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. Uh -huh. I, I need it to be bright in here. I kind of agree with you, sir. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. All the darkness. Oh, interesting. So he's supposed to be a... Uh... Turn the lights on. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't Got your back, buddy. Anybody tell you different? Nah. You know I shouldn't even be in here. The 
cops. They got it all wrong. See? Sure, sure, sure. I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen, listen. listen. Now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. Oh. No, sir. I only look like him. Uh oh. You want to know who it really was? Sure. <laughs> Goddamn space alien! I know it sounds like something a drunk would say, yep. but believe me, I wasn't drunk then. So when you say alien, do you mean he was dark and shadowy and evil looking? Because that could definitely be something I believe in. Boink. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. And check the junker. But first, a thermos. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just one more item before I go. Huh. <coughs> Had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Oh. Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day's almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? No point in getting all worked up yet. I know, right? Thanks, buddy. I like that guy. He cool. I forgot to check something before I leave. Boink. Can I turn this TV off? The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. <sighs> there was something for me in an abandoned car. Yes, yes, yes. We know. I just wanted to check to see if that I could use that. Has the light gotten brighter? Oh, the junker. I see something on the on the seat. It looks like a page. Whoop. <laughs> Maybe it's not a page. Um. Kick. Bah! Oh, that's a page. <laughs> the kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall and the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing force myself to speak let's cut the act now where's my wife interesting so it actually is a kidnapping somebody did Alice's kidnap his driver's license had been placed on the front seat the caller meant business spoilers i hadn't got there yet barry ow ow thank god where the hell have you been i've been what? trying to reach you for a week you and uh, alice uh, i've been worried sick i flew out yesterday i'm here here in bright falls oh boy barry, listen to me I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, Barry. Maybe it's a good thing you came. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. Uh -huh. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. E. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I worry about... Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. We don't want to know about your staff, dude. They never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Indeed. All we can do is to slow down the progress of their dementia. 
Oh, that's sad. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. Mm. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins Thanks. at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something he looks even you? worse in CG. I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey, oh my. Take it easy. Oh boy. Well, now I'm under arrest. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business I'm Barry to Wheeler. Wait, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Cauldron Lake, huh? Here. Let's get out of here. Ooh, that Emil Hartman. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. Paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. God, why is this guy just ooze? Agent. <laughs> I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the yep. manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He mm. smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. Uh -huh. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak. That somewhere sounds in Elderwood National dangerous. Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. It reminds me of Leo Getz. Alice! Right. Or Rose, sorry. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony looking after Max. Poor thing. Who's Max? I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Always a pleasure, Rose. You have a good one. I don't care if Mr. Wake's going to be a butt about it. I appreciate Max. you. Max. <laughs> what an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, uh -huh. more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. Oh. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the yeah. last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No, no. I don't Look, think. Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do and you everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Uh -huh, yes. It's a good story, would be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, uh. you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Are I we know. Here? I apparently have to talk to Rusty. I hope Max is not what I think it is. Okay, good. It's got a tail. Ha uh ha. -huh. Hey, I saw you. I think you can hide from me, Thermos. I'm going to pick you up. Uh, give me that, Thermos. Uh, I thought Max was a turtle. <laughs> Bucktooth Mammoth, huh? Huh, interesting. Colombian Mammoth. Those are unbearably cute. Is that? No, that's not. That's. What is that? Huh? It looks important, but it's not shiny, and I can't pick it up. Manuscript. Manuscript. Ooh, swanky. Hey, Rusty. Easy there, boy. I'm Aww. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Yeah, I Actually, understand. I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Gotcha. Now I gotta what pick happened? up that. Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some low lowlifes. Yeah. <sighs> well, at least Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Mm-hmm. Good boy. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. I know. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Thanks, buddy. I got it. Don't worry about it. I'll go pick that up. Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. So do you. You gotta talk to the cops. I did. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? Mm -hmm. No. This whole thing... It... Listen, 
You hit your head. Well, I'm gonna hit your head. Come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. You sound crazy. You're trying to pull a joke on me. Freak me out. It's working. Ha ha. Let's have a laugh on Barry. Ha 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 ha. Had me going there real funny, Al. You can <sighs> quit it now. It's not a joke, dude. Relax. Let's get a. Let's just get a, a, a cabin. Give me that. Yoinkage. Oh, scribble it out. There we go. Pick it. Bring it back to Rusty. Be all like, hey, Rusty. I got you this form here. You see to that doggy. Make sure he's okay. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad Thanks. You here. Thanks. Hey. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths. You'll get to it eventually. Oh. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. I like that. That's good. I mean, that's obviously where we're going to go tonight. And that's going to put us on the darkness path. Look, Al. Oh. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went, boop, into thin air. Yes. A guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. Yes. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms. <sighs> strapped to their beds. Wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves uh -huh. and eating a healthy diet of pills. Yes. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me then. Al, come on. I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Uh-huh. Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, Barry, Barry, Barry. All right, one sec. Here we go. Now let's move on. <laughs> I just realized you guys are going to be like, wait, he has a different hat on. Yeah, I, uh, sorry, had a uh, thing. Oh, it's dark again. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? Shut up, Barry. We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Uh -huh. Damn it, Barry, the killer. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. Bless you. Going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Well, I'm not. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. Stay you here. Stay here. And, and stay I'm in the light. Back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> That's a good idea. Bless you. And stay in the light for Christ's sake. Just be careful with the natives, Al. Uh -huh. These yokels are dangerous. Uh -huh. Everybody hates a tourist. Or it'll be deliverance all over again. I lost all my weapons and my batteries. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here. Spores, poison ivy, God knows what. I've dealt with this some mold. So not worth a 15% commission. Oh, come on, Barry. You know you love me. Ooh, the creaking. They took my guns? Oh, I just got a shotgun, too. Oh. Batteries. Yoink. Thermos. Yoink. Uh, door. Really? Why is it locked? What's out here? Certainly no, uh, useful items like a gun. Ah, another thermos. And a hot tub. Nice. No chainsaws or shotguns or axes. Hello? Oh, it's an aesthetic well. Ugh, I hate aesthetic wells. Then again, I'm not really much for anything that's, you know, not functional. I'm very, very, very much a stickler for stuff like that. Can I get a gun? I get a feeling I'm going to have to... That's legitimately what I told you to do. Don't interrupt me. I'm busy. All right. Okay. I had 20 freaking batteries and they took them all. 
Hey, checkpoint reach. Nice. Thank you. Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. I imagine. I'm not armed with a gun, though. There we go. There's, like, no guns anywhere. Do you got a gun in your car? Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. Uh, I mean, it does have bright lights. Uh, I need a pistol. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These <laughs> people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Ah, oh, nice bright light over there. I need a gun. Oh, I have a gun. Where'd I get the gun from? <laughs> I guess I was carrying it with me the whole time. Just, wow. I don't have my shotgun. I'm also not full of bullets like I used to be. Oh, boy. Uh, hello? I gotta check this cabin over here. All right, so we basically have confirmation that... <gasps> Gasp. Trash can. We basically have confirmation... God, what was that funky monkey with the startling scare of my face? Uh, don't do that. I've got a heart. It's not a heart condition, but I have a heart. Hello? Wind chimes are creepy. Oh. There's a radio in there. Okay, let's check over here. Hello? Nothing! Yay! Alright, into the cabin. Well, it doesn't say it's any of my books. Ah! Nice. Well, got some ammo at least. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized. I and saw I'm him out there. Man. <laughs> Somebody's out there. Really, just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? Ah, shoot, you can do it. <laughs> yes, exactly that. But I'm going to check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the pie contest judges, too. <laughs> I'd like that job, thank you. Well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a largemouth bass early this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? <laughs> no, no, not this year. You see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Yeah, I understand. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Mm -hmm. now, considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy. <laughs> 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 well, that, that's kind of you to say. How kind of you to invite me here. Alright, I saw the shadow dude. Where'd he go? He went this way. Okay, no shadow dude here. All right, let's go down here real quick. Ah, I'm all on edge and tense. My shoulders are hunched. It's like ah. I missed my shotgun already. Stop it! Stop it! Oh. 
Okay. Moving on. Ah, ah, head itches. There we go. Uh, earthquake? Why are there earthquake? I don't need earthquake here. Oh, the light went out. Call oh, darn it. Alright, so this is going to be creepy central. Uh, is it supposed to look like that? It's the build up for the bad guy that's the worst. Like, just come out and get me already. Drop hazard. Ooh. <laughs> they put the door on the wrong side. Just to make sure I couldn't get in there. Man. I like caravans. So no, the windows are not supposed to look like that. Oh boy. Huh. Eh. Shut up. Oh, they broke the light switch. Somebody can just sneak up behind me. Sweet. Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish. Especially in night springs. <laughs> yeah, it's my uh episode. The man in the mirror. My New Year's re um like tradition is we watch the uh, Twilight Zone marathon He's into the new year. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. That voice does not fit that face. Soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, Assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists. Wow. That's a lot of words. Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess them up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. Uh oh that must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with oh. this. Oh. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my mark, believe me. You, you bastard. What, you gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I don't understand any of this. And you never will. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. <laughs> Oh no. Interesting. I know I got to fight my mirror for, form in, in control, and that was a lot of fun. Night Springs. Nice. That was fun. Anyway, I keep getting distracted by those things. Ammo? No. Oh, I didn't notice that blood before. Also, what are these stupid... Are these feathers or leaves or what? Get out of here. Hey, better get out of here, punks. Stupid jerks doing their stupid things with their cacas and whatnot. <gasps> a phone. But who is phone? Uh oh. Uh, 
I shouldn't be wasting ammo. <laughs> oh, that's a hiking trail. Fallen rock zone. No. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Oh, no. Poor Rusty. Oh. Do not feed the wildlife. $100 penalty. And it's important, too. Hello, manuscript page. Bet you thought I was gonna miss you. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. <laughs> she liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the Aww. value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, <sighs> made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. <sighs> Don't teach me more about Rusty before you kill him. I hate it when you do that to me. I mean, I already kind of like Rusty because he's taking care of the animals, but are you going to throw that at me? Mm, unrequited love. Good with animals. Ugh. Poor guy. He doesn't deserve this badness. He deserves happiness. When, oh, 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 we got a string of lights. They're going to go out on me. Uh, ah, never mind. Oh, there they go. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. No! 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 Rusty, damn. Rusty, hang on. Oh, I'm God. coming. Please help me. I'm coming, Rust. I don't run very well, I'm sorry. Anybody? Help me. I'm coming, Rusty. Help. Help me. One second. Shut up, don't spark at me. Can you hear me? Anyone? Please. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Felt the broken rib stabbing Ow. him the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Don't worry, Rusty. I'm coming for you. I'm coming, buddy. Hello? Back here. I'm back here. Hey. Rusty. Mr. Wake? <laughs> Oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. Oh, no. It was so dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. And he died. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Ooh, Jesus. At least they left Chuck alone. Buck, buck to Chuck. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Yep. How well is that going to work? Oh, all the plants are dead. That's rude. Hello? There's the page. Hello? Oh, okay, let's hit the page. <laughs> At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. 
I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. Uh -huh. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I know, I know. The light's safe and everything. God darn it. Oh, uh, radio's cut off. Give me that. And those. Haha. Uh -huh. Ah. I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Well, that's not good. Rusty, no! Rusty! There's some waves of darkness out there. I see them. They're getting all dark and evil out there. Rusty, no. Poor Rusty. Alright, I'm coming to help you, buddy. I know you're dead already, but I'm coming to help anyway. Because I'm weird like that. The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. All right, one sec. Let me recharge a little bit. Oh, hey. I don't actually need to focus it. Just happens to take a while. I just need hunting licenses. Yes, they do. Ow. <sighs> Hunters need hunting licenses. You know it. You know it, my dude. Oh, I hate this place. Oh, Rusty. You were taken, weren't you? Oh, Max, no. Something. Had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. Oh, <laughs> don't say mammoth size when there's a giant mammoth in the room. Oh boy. Please don't feed the animals. Oh, Rusty, buddy, I'm sorry. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license. I'm so sorry, Rusty. Obey. The Park Ranger's instructions. At all times. Rusty? Rusty, no! Never! You approach closer than 100 yards! Two bears and wolves! Never approach any other world work closer than 25 yards! Pets must be leashed! Yeah, at all times! Never leave your pet unattended! Against the law to remove any natural objects or historical artifacts from the park grounds. This includes even rocks. You may find a lot of them. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rusty, buddy. Oh, oh boy. Hi, guys. Get out of here. Oh, dang it. Rusty was a good boy, or a good guy. And hopefully Max is okay wherever he got off to. You think there'd be a shotgun or something around here? I mean, come on. Something big and angry out there, man. I don't like it. Oh, and this bridge ain't helping any. Is 
It's not really a bridge though. So I guess I'm not as shook by it. Okay. God, Barry, what? What? What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Sure aren't. Now, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Except for me. You can open the door for me. You know, if I uh, am talking normal. If I'm not talking normal, then leave the door closed. Because that just means I've been taken. Ball hazard. Uh, okay, I think that's a manuscript page. Oh, what a nice little overlook. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Look at that. We got light over there. Somebody's... I wonder if somebody's going to be in that toilet. <laughs> Oh boy, okay, let's get this manuscript page. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. Uh -huh. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. <laughs> no, she sure wouldn't, because he's dead. Ah, poop. Ah, look at that. Emergency box. Ah, all right. So that's enough time for this uh, for today. Oh, man, this is getting good. I'm excited. Oh, we need to find our way up to Lover's Peak and find out who this kidnapper is. But I feel like it's not the darkness that has quote unquote kidnapped Alice. I don't know. <laughs> this is going to be exciting to find out. But anyway, apart from all that, that's going to be it for me for today. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of Alan Wake. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, just go and poke that like button for me. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you are more than welcome to leave a comment down in the comment section down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And when I can, if I can, you know all that jazz. And tune in next time as we continue on to Lover's Peak. And until then, good night.